The Earth is an incredible place with many natural wonders, pristine forests, and many geological curiosities. And then there are the places in the world that are so incredible, it's hard to believe they really exist. Some of these are so enchanting or strange that they seem like they could only exist in fantasy, while others are bizarre, exotic, or seem entirely alien. Check out these real places on Earth that seem impossible. Kawa Ijen We all know about volcanoes, fiery mountains that are prone to unexpectedly erupt in cascades of lava and ash that have frightened humans for centuries. But in Indonesia, there is a volcano which does something different. Instead of producing the usual red lava and black smoke, it spews blue lava with bright blue flames dancing in the air. The locals here call this electric blue fire. The phenomenon is caused by the volcano's sulfuric gases coming into contact with air temperature above 680 degrees Fahrenheit or 360 degrees Celsius. Sometimes sulfuric gases inside the volcano heat up and burst out shooting blue flames nearly 20 feet in the air. The gases then condense into liquid sulfur which spills down the mountain slopes looking like flowing neon blue lava. The interesting thing is that the blue glowing flames and lava can only be seen at night. After seeing this strange phenomenon, it would certainly seem like you were on another planet. The Maracaibo Beacon In western Venezuela, over the Catatumbo River, there is an electrical storm that seems to sometimes never cease. Shortly after dusk, lightning strikes Lake Maracaibo, one of the oldest lakes on Earth, about 28 times a minute for up to 9 hours, 260 days a year. The strikes are so continuous that you can see everything around you at night, and sailors have embraced this phenomenon for centuries, using the Maracaibo lightning as a beacon. But why does this happen here and nowhere else on Earth? The unstable air and moisture are the key, and the Catatumbo lightning gets a boost from a unique topography. Mountain ridges cup three sides of Lake Maracaibo, leaving a narrow window open north to the Gulf of Venezuela. The Caribbean provides an endless supply of warm water, and the hot tropical sun pulls the moisture from the lake, and at sunset, strong winds blow through the mountains, pushing warm air up to form cumulonimbus clouds. Water droplets of humid air collide with ice crystals from the cold air that produce static charge buildup. Locals call it the River of Fire, and 10 minutes of Catatumbo lightning could illuminate all of South America. The Blue Pond of Hokkaido On the Japanese island of Hokkaido, there is a lake that's unlike any other in the world. That's because the water in this lake is a unique electric shade of blue that shimmers and changes its shade when seen at different angles. As the seasons change, the water also changes color, shifting through shades of blue and green. But the lake isn't something natural not entirely. It was actually man-made after the 1988 eruption of Mount Tokachi to protect the town of Bie from volcanic mud flows. The locals built a dam and set up a reservoir where the water blocked by the dam could collect. But to everyone's surprise, the water it collected changed colors, unlike anything ever seen. Scientists believe that the water's strange color comes from the accidental colloidal aluminum hydroxide particles in the water. These particles reflect blue light unusually well, making its reflection of the sky above far more vivid than any body of water anywhere else on Earth. Mount Horaima If you are looking for a mind-blowing geological formation, then Mount Horaima would be the place to visit. It is the highest of the Pacarema chain of Tapui Plateaus in South America. It is one of the oldest geological formations on Earth, dating back to the Pre-Cambrian period some two billion years ago. It marks the place where the borders of Venezuela, Brazil, and Guyana meet. The 12-square-mile summit has 1,312-foot cliffs all the way around. At 9,000 feet above sea level, anyone hiking here can literally touch the clouds. The flora and fauna on this tabletop mountain are endemic to the area and it rains almost every day here. It is also home to numerous limpid pools and bizarre rock formations, enhancing its otherworldliness. Some people regard Mount Horaima as a sacred place, and it's plain to see that Horaima feels like an alien world, unlike any other place you've ever experienced. The Petrifying Well On the banks of the River Nid, near the town of Knaresborough in North Yorkshire, 
There is a strange place in the forest where water trickles down a stone face, lined with different colors of mineral deposits in the water. But the mineral doesn't just leave unique and strange colors on the rocks. Scientists found that the water has an unusually high mineral content, and as a result, it creates a hard mineral shell over anything it touches, just like how stalactites are formed in caves. Rather than centuries, small toys like teddy bears can petrify in just three to five months. Teddy bears are popular because they are porous, which allows the water to soak in and petrify the toy inside out. Other people have left personal items such as rings and clothing kitchen utensils, and even a bicycle to be covered in stone. By the way, if you need something turned to stone, the well has been a visitor's attraction since 1630, making it one of the oldest tourist spots in England. Movila Cave In southeastern Romania, in Constanta County, close to the Black Sea and the Bulgarian border, there is a cave that was completely sealed off from sunlight or air for 5.5 million years. The cave was only discovered in 1986 by power plant workers as they were testing the ground to see if it were a safe place to build and cracked open a pathway that leads to one of the strangest places on earth. If you descend through the narrow shaft and past a series of tunnels, you enter a pitch black chamber with a lake of sulfuric water stinking of rotten eggs. The air here is toxic, filled with hydrogen sulfide, and contaminated with 100 times the surface's level of carbon dioxide. But the strangest part is that a whole ecosystem has survived inside. Researchers have found 33 species of animals and creatures inside the cave that don't exist anywhere on Earth, or at least that we know about yet. They've adapted to survive in a sulfuric atmosphere, living by feeding off foam on top of the stones, most of the creatures lack pigment and have no vision. Most of the strange creatures are spindly with extra long limbs and antennae to help them navigate this ancient and strange place. The Door to Hell Situated in Derwees, a village in Turkmenistan, located in the middle of Karakum Desert, is a crater that looks like its namesake. The crater is actually on fire and was actually a product of miscalculation. Back in 1971, Soviet geologists made a mistake by accidentally tapping into a cavern filled with natural gas while drilling. During the drilling, an accident happened. Equipment and its transport fell down in a big hole. The ground collapsed beneath, leaving a large crater 230 feet in diameter. Natural gas started to leak out of the crater, and fearing that the hole would release more poisonous gases, the team decided to burn it off. They thought that the fuel would burn off in just a couple of days, but the weeks and months passed, and the fires kept burning, and it is still burning today, 48 years later. Looking into the crater, you will see thousands of flames, as if the rock itself is on fire. Fly Geyser, USA In the hot Black Rock Desert of Nevada, USA, is one of the oddest things you will probably ever see. Fly Geyser is a small geothermal geyser that is 12 feet tall, if you include the continuously growing mount on which it sits. It spews water 5 feet high in the sky all day long. Interestingly enough, the geyser is privately owned by Todd Jackson, the owner of Fly Ranch, where people can come from all over the world to see the bizarre attraction. But Fly Geyser is not an entirely natural phenomenon. Just like the door to hell in Derweez, Fly Geyser is the product of a human mistake. It was accidentally created in 1964 by a company in search of geothermal sources of energy. Some say that the well may not have been properly capped or that it was simply left unplugged. Either way, the end result was a continuous accumulation of minerals, creating the ever-growing multicolored mounds. The brilliant color of the mound is due to the presence of thermophilic bacteria, although several concentrated minerals are also present. Grand Prismatic Spring from space, this natural hot spring looks incredibly alien with its brightly multicolored mineral bands. The Grand Prismatic Spring can be found in Yellowstone National Park, located in the Midway Geyser Basin. It is the largest hot spring in the USA and the third largest in the world after Frying Pan Lake in New Zealand and Boiling Lake in Dominica. The spring discharges 560 U.S. gallons of water that is 160 degrees Fahrenheit. The hot spring's vivid colors are caused by a combination of mineral-rich water and the pigmented bacteria found in the lake and, of course, the temperature. 
The colors produced by the bacteria are determined by the temperature and depend on the rate of chlorophyll to carotenoids present in the water. In the center of the spring, it is too hot for the bacteria to survive. But as you move towards the outside of the spring, the temps drop and the bacteria can survive. This is why the center is deep blue and the outside the dazzling bright yellows, fierce oranges and deep reds where the bacteria thrive. The Enchanted River The Hinatuan River, also popularly known as the Enchanted River, is one of the cleanest and most sparkling clear in the Philippines. The natural bluish colored pool is 200 to 260 feet deep and flows directly to the Pacific Ocean. The deepest part is said to have strong sea currents connected to a trench, and the water there is a salty brine, which separates from fresh water. Many people have believed photos of this place to be edited because of its unreal beauty, but such is the essence of the Enchanted River. It is clear to the point of being unbelievable. Fishermen swear that though they see an abundance of fish in the waters, they have never been able to catch any, no matter what method they use. They also say that fishing nets laid out at night can be found hanging on nearby tree branches in the morning. And once, a foreigner tried to measure the depth of the visible riverbed and was astonished to find that it was unfathomable. The Enchanted River is surrounded by as much mystery as it is beautiful. We hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know which of these was your favorite and why. If you liked the video, please click the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you will be the first to know when a new video is released. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.